Hello everyone, and welcome to Opera Property Management System Training. Today we're going to talk about Accounts Receivables. Accounts Receivables offers, offers the flexibility to manage customer accounts according to their individual preferences, maximize collection, and increase customer satisfaction. The Accounts Receivables module is a way for properties to organize postings and take payments from people and businesses they have extended credit to. Direct Billing and Receivable Accounts Before we begin discussing accounts receivables, we need to discuss direct billing. In order to use the direct bill payment method and send invoices to AR, two things must happen. An AR account must be set up on a profile, commonly a company profile. This indicates that accounting has extended credit to a company, person, and has approved them for billing. Two, the charges that the company will be paying for must be routed on a reservation to window two or any other available folio window and have the company profile with the AR number attached to the reservation and to window two. Transfer front office data. Prior to training, it should have been discussed if the property wants to have their AR invoices go directly to the AR account or if they would like for the invoices to be held in the transfer front office data bin. What does transfer FO data do? Transfer front office data allows the accounting department to check the accuracy of the invoices before sending them into AR. This transfer process will allow the user to view, edit, and print all invoices before transferring them to their correct AR account. All invoices in the transfer bin are totaled on the AR ledger as accruals but are not on specific account statements until they are transferred. Transfer front office data, put in your password, and here's the transfer front office data bin. The transfer screen, commonly called the FO data bin, will display all the transactions from the previous day that have been checked out to direct bill transaction. The checkouts for today will not show in the transfer bin after the night audit has been completed for today. How can I access the transfer front office data screen? From the main PMS screen in Opera, go to AR, Transfer Front Office Data, and enter your password. What happens if I do not transfer the invoices from the Front Office Data screen? It is suggested that the transfer bin be managed on a daily basis. Although the accounts will begin aging upon checkout, they will not be able to be paid until they are transferred to their correct AR account. Transfer front office data, yellow bordered search area. From date to date, you enter the date range of the invoices you wish to display in the grid. Folio number, enter the number of the folio you wish to find. Invoice number, enter the number of the invoice you wish to find. Account name, the name of the AR account to which the invoice will be transferred. Name, the name of the guest that is attached to the booked reservation. This name may or may not be the name on the AR account holder. Managing the transfer front office data bin. Folio allows the user to print, preview, or email a selected individual invoice. Transfer 
allows the user to transfer the selected invoices marked with an X to be transferred to the designated AR accounts. Details. Details allows the user to see the individual charges that make up the invoice. The details on the screen also gives the user the opportunity to print, preview, or email a copy of the invoice see the profile of the guest, and or edit the reference field, or the supplement information on a specific charge if needed. All guest stay information is displayed on the top of the screen, Any adjustments must be done once the invoice is transferred to the AR account. Edit. If the user discovers that the invoice is attached to the incorrect AR account, they may highlight the account and select Edit to modify this. Selecting Edit will open a search screen that can be used to find the correct account for the invoice. Using the yellow search box, the user can search for the name of the correct account. Once the correct account is found and highlighted, the user can then select OK and respond to the prompt to acknowledge the change of the account. Are you sure? Yes. And now we've moved that invoice to Water Softener Inc. Account Maintenance. What is the Account Maintenance screen? The Account Maintenance screen allows the user to manage their AR accounts on a regular basis. How can I access the Account Maintenance screen? From the PMS screen in Opera, go to AR, Select Account Maintenance, enter your password. This will open the account search screen. To search for a specific account, use the search field surrounded by the yellow box in the bottom or in the top, top right hand corner. Accounts can be located by account name, by account number or account type, it's also possible to see all accounts, only accounts with an open balance, or only accounts with no balance. Why is the word permanent account at the bottom of the screen? Permanent account means that this AR account cannot be deleted if transactions have occurred on the account. An account can be changed from a permanent account by going into the account setup screen and unchecking the permanent account. to the account setup, and we can uncheck the permanent account. Yellow border in the account maintenance search area. Account name, the name of the AR account to which the invoice will be transferred. From account number, to account number, enter an account number or a range of account numbers. When using both from account number and a to account number search fields, 
the account numbers must be in sequential order. Account type. Using the drop down arrow, the users may select specific account types to search for. All, open balance, no balance. Allows the user to focus on specific types of accounts based on the account balance. Now, if you notice with my AR accounts, I have no balances here. It's because we have not transferred them from the front office dated transfer bin. So until they get transferred, no balances will show up in the account maintenance area. So if we want to transfer them, we're going to go back to transfer front office data. And now if we want to transfer them all, we will click the all button. It puts, puts an X beside each account and each invoice. And when we're ready to transfer them, we'll click the transfer button. It says, are you sure? Yes. And once I click yes, all the invoices are transferred to their correct AR account. So now if we close out, we go back to account maintenance. Put in our password, and now you will notice that our accounts have balances in them. Using the yellow bordered search area, let's locate the AR account that you want to work with. So I'm going to highlight Oracle Hospitality. We're going to click on Select. Once in the AR account, the name of the account and AR number are displayed at the top of the account's maintenance window. As well as displayed in bold, blue text towards the middle of the screen. So we have here at the top, and we've also got it here in blue. To the right of the bold blue account information text, the account balance will be displayed. The yellow bordered search area allows you to search for invoices using the following fields. The from date to date, enter the date range of the invoices you wish to display in the grid. Folio number, enter the number of the folio you wish to find. Invoice number, enter the number of the invoice you wish to find. All, open, payments only. All in open allows you to view the screen by all invoices or by invoices that only have an open balance. The payments only checkbox will display only payment transactions posted to this account. At this time, we do not have any payments posted to this account. When the user selects details in the upper right-hand corner, the screen will show the address and contact information for the account. Next to the account information is the aging information. This shows the balance in each aging bucket, Next to the right of this, the current aging information for the account will be displayed. In the middle of the screen, the single line invoices are displayed. This will show the folio number and invoice number, amounts and unpaid balances are also displayed. At the bottom of the screen is the total account balance. May I view more than one AR account at a time? Just like in cashiering and billing, the user may select multiple accounts 
by marking with them an X on an AR account search screen. The user then can click Select and the names of the selected accounts will appear at the bottom of the account maintenance screen. The user can toggle between the accounts by clicking on the account name they wish to go to. Account Maintenance – Compressing Invoices What does Compress do? If a client or the property would like to see several invoices displayed as a one-line item on the statement, we can compress invoices to appear, appear as one item. Invoices cannot be compressed if there have been any payments made on the invoices. Can invoices ever be uncompressed after the night audit has been rolled? No, they cannot. Most properties try to avoid the compress option because of this. So if we wanted to compress two lines, notice it's grayed out. We mark two lines. We click on compress. And it will compress them. I'm not going to do it, but you could click OK. And it would compress the two lines together. Viewing AR Invoices Viewing the detail of AR invoices in the AR account, we are able to see details, adjust changes on a folio, and print a copy of the folio. Select an invoice by highlighting it and then selecting the invoice. The stay information is displayed along the top of the screen. This information includes the arrival date, departure date, and rate information. The individual postings will appear in the middle of the screen. This information will include when the charge was posted, how much was posted, supplement and reference information. The user also has the option to add new charges and make adjustments. Posting new charges to, AR, to the AR invoice. Select new on the invoice screen. This will open the transaction posting screen reviewed earlier in cashiering. Click OK, and then we're going to click the transaction code drop down arrow, and we will find the transaction code that we want to post. So if we wanted to post a parking charge, we could search for the transaction code for parking. To the right of the percent sign, I'm going to type in park, click on find, and I'm going to choose valet parking. The amount was $25. And then I'm going to click on Post. And then we'll close. It asks you, do you want to print a preview and invoice? I'm going to say no. And now you have the parking charge that is posted. Now I like to add in the supplement and the reference line what it is. So I sometimes will go back. I'll highlight the charge. I will click Edit. And in the supplement line, I would put valet parking, guest name, and then in the reference line, I would do the same thing. And if you wanted to put their arrival date and departure date of, of when they stayed, you could do that also to the right of the name. And I click OK. Now I've posted the charge on the invoice. Adjusting charges on an AR invoice. So we're going to highlight the invoice that we want to make an adjustment to. We're going to click on Invoice. Takes us to the detailed invoice. 
So there's two ways to adjust transactions. The first way is to use the adjust button. And the second way is to use the post button. So we've got the adjust button, we've got the post button. So we're gonna press the adjustment button. We're gonna select the adjust button, enter the transaction code to adjust. This is the posted transaction code, not the adjustment code, unless the property is not using adjustment codes. So I want to do an adjustment on room charge. I'm gonna click on adjust. I'm gonna type in the transaction code for room charge. The begin date, 601, and the end date is 601. The amount I want to adjust off is $20. Notice it puts a negative in front of the $20 automatically. The reason code, incorrect price, and the reason. And we click on OK. It makes the adjustment. Notice it also takes off the taxes for us. Once we're done, we close out and it takes us back to the AR account. If we want to go back in there, we click on invoice, takes us back here. Now another way to do the adjustment, we could click the post button. Once we click the post button, we would want to choose the adjustment code that we're going to adjust it to. So we're going to do just room charge this time. And this time we have to put a minus. So if we do a minus $10 this time, and then we will have to put a reason in supplement in reference. In correct price, I click on post and close. And it does the adjustment for me. Okay, so over on the right, the transfer button, this allows the user to transfer individual transactions from an invoice to another invoice or create a new invoice. This can be on a new, on the same AR account, a new AR account, or an existing AR account. Folio. This allows the user to print, preview, or email the folio. An AR only typewriter functionality is available in the folio options. This allows the user to open the invoice as an MS Word document and modify the form. The modified modifications made will only be reflected on the Word document and not in Opera. So I'm clicking on Typewriter, and it's going to open up my folio in a Word document. And when it does that, then you can make changes to that folio. So we can open it. And notice it opens it in a Word document. And we could make changes to it. Edit. View the transaction details of the original posting and edit the reference and the reference and supplement fields. Edit. We can edit the supplement and reference fields. The profile button. This screen will take the user into the profile of the guest attached to this invoice. Takes us into Ginger Grant's profile. Why do I not see my AR adjustments in cashier billing? Any adjustments made to an invoice in AR will not be reflected in folio history in cashiering. Direct bill folio should be reprinted from AR to be sure all adjustments are included. 
Okay, so we're going to close out. Posting payments in AR. Why are the paid invoices not showing on the account? Once invoices have been paid, Opera removes them from the default screen view. The user can select all in the yellow bordered area, search area to find all previously paid invoices. Can a payment be applied to the oldest charges? Yes, this option is available when selecting payment. However, most accountants like to have control over the balances that are being paid at one time and do not actively use apply payment to the oldest charges. Posting an AR payment. Payment to apply, post payments to apply payments to invoices directly or to post an al unallocated payment to an account. Highlight the invoice that we want to pay. So let's say we want to pay Ginger Grant's invoice here. Mark the invoice with an X. We're going to select payment down in the right hand corner. The amount should default based on the invoice that were selected. So we highlighted Ginger Grant's invoice and the amount is $196.90. Enter any supplement or reference information. And let's say they're going to pay with a check. So in the supplement or reference, we could put the check number. And then it's going to apply the payment to the marked charges, the one that we marked. So I'm going to click post. Notice how it disappeared. Remember earlier we said if you wanted to see the ones that have disappeared, we would collect on all. You see the check and you see Ginger Grant's invoice. It is at zero. So now we can just go to the open invoices. Taking an al unallocated payment. An unallocated payment will apply a credit to the total account balance, but will not be applied to a specific invoice. If it is not applied to an invoice, then the invoices will continue to age, even if the account balance is zero. To completely close an invoice and stop it from aging, a payment must be applied directly to the invoice. So let's post an unallocated payment. So we're going to click on payment. We're going to select the method of payment that they're going to pay us with. They're going to give us a check. Enter the amount being paid. We're going to choose $300. We'll put the check number in the reference field and we're going to choose unallocated payment option we're going to select post if you notice our payment the account balance has been reduced by the payment posted but the invoices are still aging and will continue to age until paid in full so it reduced our account balance but it's an unallocated payment. It's just waiting here to be applied to one of these lines. Applying an unall unallocated payment to invoices. So let's select the unallocated, unallocated payment by marking it with an X. Select which invoices will have the credit applied to them by marking them all with an X as well. So I'm going to apply here. And I'll apply it partially here. If the amount of payment is less than the total invoice is selected, the apply payment selective window will pop up and the user must decide the amounts to be applied to each invoice. If the payment is more than the total of the invoice is selected, then the remaining balance of the payment will appear as an unall unallocated amount on the account. So we're going to click Payment. So since it was less than what the amount is, so our payment is 300. 
So we will apply 276, 10 to line 1. And we notice we have 2390 left. We will apply 2390 to the second line. And then we'll post. And notice the $25 has $1.10 left, and the other line had disappeared. Apply payments selectively. Apply payments selectively allows the user to select the amount that will be paid to each invoice. Following the steps, let's go over how to apply a payment selectively. So we're going to click on payment. We're going to choose check. Let's say they're going to give us $100, $100. Enter any supplement or reference information. We'll put the check number again. We're going to then select the uh, Apply Payment Selectively option. We're going to select Post. All the invoices are listed with the balance and the date the invoice was posted to AR. Highlight the invoices to apply credit and use either the Pay Full button or type the amount to pay using the, the Apply field. So we're going to highlight the first one. We'll put. We're going to put. Um, So we'll put 98.90 on this one, and then we'll put $1.10 so we can pay that one in full. So we're going to click on Pay Full and Post. Notice it disappeared. Once you have finished applying the payment to the invoices, we selected Post. If the total balance of the payment is not fully applied, Opera will prompt the user to inform them that the full amount of the payment has not been applied, and if they would like to continue. If the user says yes, then the remaining balance of the payment will appear as an unallocated payment on the account. Unapply credit. There are times when an Applied credit was applied to an invoice in error and needs to be reversed. In this situation, we will unapply the credit. We'll go over the following steps to unapply the credit. We're going to highlight the invoice. So we'll highlight this invoice. We're going to right click on the invoice and select unapply. The Unapply screen will list all payments made to the invoice selected. Select the payments the user wishes to unapply, marking them all with an X. Select Unapply if the user would like to unapply all payments, they can, un they can select Unapply All. So I will just select, we only have one payment, so I'm going to just select Unapply All. The credit has now been applied and the invoices are again aging. The payment will appear as an unallocated payment on the account. So we have 98.90 as unallocated payment. Reversing payments. If a payment was posted in air, the user can reverse that payment on the same day it was posted. Following the steps, we will reverse a payment made in air. So we will locate the payment. We highlighted the check for $100. Before reversing the payment, it must be fully unapplied from any invoice it may have been posted to. After it has been unapplied, we're going to right click on the highlighted payment and click on reverse payment. This will take the payment off the account altogether and will increase the total balance due on the account.
Creating a new invoice in the AR. What would be the reason to create a new invoice directly in AR? There are times when there is a need to post charges to an AR account, such as finance charges or group function charges, which are not tied to a booked reservation. The ability to create an invoice directly in AR allows the user to post the charges right away to the account. The user also does not need to wait for the night audit process for the invoice to appear in the AR account. So creating a new AR invoice. We're going to select New. On the new invoice screen, the field guest populates with the name of the account. If this invoice needs to be tied to a specific name, the user can select the drop down arrow and search for another profile. So we could clear, we could search for Housden. We're going to choose John Housden. So now it will be linked to the guest. The market code and source code pull from default set in the application settings. The user may use the drop down arrows to change the codes in these boxes. The user may add text in the invoice supplement and reference field. I added the text in the supplement and reference field. Once you select OK, the user will be taken to the transaction posting screen. Click the transaction code drop down arrow and find the correct transaction code. Define guest parking. $20 for guest parking. We could put parking and put the date. And then we could put it in reference. And then we will post the charge. We will close out. And now Opera will prompt the user if they would like to print or preview the invoice. If the user says yes, then the folio will appear as a preview that can be printed. I'm going to say no. Once back on the account maintenance screen, the new invoice will be listed. What if I only want specific invoices to appear on the statement? Users can print specific invoices on the statement by marking the invoices with an X before going to statement screen. So if we only want certain invoices to show up on our statement, we can mark them. Account maintenance options. Account Setup. Account Setup allows the user to view and modify the AR setup for this account. Account Number, Address of the AR account. You could put Attention in the contact area who the contact person is, and that will show up on your statement. Aging. This will display the aging buckets as well as the debits and credits in each bucket. Close invoice, which is grayed out. This allows the user to close the invoice, which means no new postings or adjustments can be made to the invoice. This will apply to the invoice highlighted prior to selecting option. Fix charges. Fixed charges are reoccurring or one-time charges on the AR account. When set up, these charges will post during the night audit procedure. When posted, the charge will appear as a new invoice on the account. So just like fixed charges in cashiering and billing. Folio history. 
This allows the user to easily access any past folio attached to the current guest. The user will be able to print, preview, or email the folio. The folio history that will appear will apply to the guest of the invoice highlighted prior to selecting options. So we highlighted John Housden, and there's the folio history. Future Reservation shows all future reservations that has the profile of the AR account attached. Notes. Notes allow the user to keep notes regarding an account, record telephone conversations, record past history of issues, or just general information. Once notes are entered, a lamp will appear on the account. Click New. Put check has been mailed, and it has the date up above. You click on OK, close, close out of options, and we have a red lamp down at the bottom. Pay history views detailed information about payments made on an AR account. History. History is the equivalent of the changes option. History allows the user to view detailed information about postings made on an AR account. So these are the details. Posting history is like changes. Profile. The profile will take the user in, into the profile for the account and allows him to make updates as needed. The Oracle Hospitality account. Reminders. Reminder letters are set up in configuration. This allows you to set up the reminder letters and send out a reminder letters uh, how you set it up in configuration. So you might send out reminder letter one after 15 days of aging. You might send out reminder letter two after 30 days of aging. Reminder letter three after 45 days of aging. Depend on how the property sets it up in configuration. Statement. Statement allows the user to print a statement for the selected account. Print zero balance over on the left allows the user to print invoices that have a zero balance paid invoices so you can show them on the statement. Print full statement will print all outstanding invoices on the statement. When unchecked, this will allow the last posted from two fields to be active. Print folios. This allows the user to print the folios invoices within the statement. This can save the user time by not having to print each individual invoice. Copies. Allows the user to enter in the number of copies of statements they would like to print. Order by. This, the user can change this drop down menu to change the way the information appears on the statement. Balance forward from and to the final dates for invoices to be included on the statement. Last posted from when print full statement is unchecked, this allows the user to enter in the date range of the invoices they would like to have to appear on the statement. So we uncheck print full statement. This lights up now. I click print full statement and it's grayed out. Add text down in the right hand corner. The user can add additional text to the bottom of the statement. This can be used for promotional information or communication about payment. Once the user has decided what additional fields to populate, 
The user can then print, preview, or email the statement to the client. When both print folios and emailing is selected, only the statement will be emailed. Select Close once completed. Takes us back to the Options screen. Traces. Traces can be used to set reminders for regarding an AR account. The use can then print the AR traces, which traces need to be completed. So you can see which trace traces you want to complete. Use the following steps to create a trace for an AR account. To create a new trace, we're going to click on New. We're going to enter the date we want the trace to show up or to appear. We're going to enter the text in the free, fam or free format text box. We'll click on OK. We've created the, the actual trace. And then once you close out of the trace, close out of options, you have a red lamp down at the bottom. We're going to go back to options. The next button is transfer. This allows the user to transfer an invoice that has been sent to the wrong AR account. If a payment has been applied to an invoice, it must be unapplied before the invoice can be transferred. So we can transfer to one of the accounts there. So let's say we want to transfer the John Housden. So we put an X beside it. We go to Options. We click on Transfer. Let's say we're going to transfer it to Water Softener. We're going to click on OK. It says, do you want to transfer $20 from this account to this account? I'm going to click on Yes. And now the invoice has been transferred. Back to Options, Year View. Year View is used to see payment history on an AR account. This will show the debits, the credits, and the balance for the past 12 months. A new AR account. Creating a new AR account from the Account Maintenance screen. So we're on the Account Maintenance screen here. We're going to select New to create a new AR account. This will take you to the Profile Search screen. If the profile already exists, we would use the search field to locate that profile. So if we're going to create a new AR account, we're going to click on New. We're going to choose Company. And the new AR account, we're going to call it Macy's. We would put the address in for Macy's corporate office. Remember to put the city and state in, or the postal code, and it will put the city and state in. We're going to click on OK. And now we're going to account, if you notice, the account type at the top. So we're in the account setup screen here. So the account type, this list is created by the property and can be used to define not only the type of account but the different reminder cycles and help in reporting on accounts as well. So for this property I have to put in an AR account first. We'll get to that in just a second. The account number. This number must follow a pattern defined by the property. AR account numbers are usually unique and cannot be du duplicated in another active account. So we will put the first four letters of the name of the property at this property and then do 001. Also wanted to show you the account types here created at this property. Credit limit, line of credit. This is the maximum amount that a company can have on, 
on their AR account at one time. The credit limit can be defined by account type with default amount. This field is optional and can even be left blank. So if we wanted the account limit to be $10,000, we can put that on their account limit for Macy's. Flagged. This allows accounting to set a restriction to prevent billing to a specific AR account. When the flag box is checked, a box labeled description will appear. This is used to communicate to the front desk why this account is restricted upon checkout of a reservation to that account. Maybe the account has not paid their bill. So we could put that information in the description here. Then we can, or else we can uncheck it. Contact name, enter the name of the contact person or department for this account. And I always like to put attention here so it will show up on the station, on the uh, statement. Phone, fax, email. This communication information copies over from the profile. The user may select the ellipsis next to any of these fields to add additional or modify existing contact information. AR address. This address will copy over from the profile. However, you can create a new profile type. The user may select the ellipsis to the right of the address to make changes to the mailing information. This AR address is specific to the AR account and will not impact the profile. Last reminder sent. The date is the last reminder was sent for this account. Last reminder text. The text of the last reminder letter sent. Last reminder sent to. The contact name to whom the last reminder letter was sent to. Last statement sent. The date the last statement was sent for this account. Last statement sent to. The contact name to whom the last statement was sent to. Include batch statements. Select this checkbox if the account is to be included when batch statements are run. Uncheck this box to exclude the account from batch statements. And in permanent account, select this checkbox if this account is to be a permanent AR account. As long as this checkbox is selected, then this account may not be, be deleted. If there have been invoices transferred to this account, this checkbox is selected by default. Select OK. And we're done. So we've created the new AR account. AR Research Screen. Clients will commonly call the property to check on the status of an invoice. The user can use the Research button to quickly locate any invoices in AR without going into each account. How to use the AR Search Screen. Once in the search screen, a list of invoices, all invoices both paid and unpaid are available from this screen. To search for existing invoices, use any of the fields in the yellow boarded search area at the top of the screen. Once the invoice has been located from the research screen, the user has the option to. So once we search for it, we find the one that we're searching for. The button's over here on the right, the pay history. This is the history of payments made on the selected invoice. Account. View the AR account attached to the invoice and navigate it just as they would from the account maintenance screen. Takes you directly to the AR account. Pay. Make a payment on an invoice.
transfer. We could transfer to the invoice to another AR account. History, a record of all charges made to the AR account attached to this invoice. View, view the invoice. We can make additional postings and adjustments. Edit, select edit to view or modify the supplement or reference field. Once on the edit screen, the user has the option available to view the guest profile. We can select close once we're finished. Batch processing. I'm gonna click the batch processing area. Batch processing allows the user to print out batches of AR reminder letters and statements without going into each individual account. Processing batch statements. So we selected batch processing, then we can select statements. Using the yellow border search area, filter out which statements to be included in the batch. Select the AR accounts to be included by marking them with an X or using the Select All button. Use the additional options at the bottom of the search to decide what information to be included on the statements. Select Preview or Print to generate the statements. And once you are finished, we can select Close once we are completed. I'm going to go back to batch processing. Processing batch reminder letters. We're going to select the AR accounts, that batch processing, and then select the reminder letters. So we'll select the AR accounts. Select generate to create the reminder letters. Opera will only generate reminders based on the reminder cycle set in configuration. This means if the account's age does not meet the criteria for the reminder cycle, a letter will not be generated. Select the reminder letters to be included in the batch by marking, with them, marking them with an H using the Select All button. Select Preview or Print to generate the reminder letters. Once we are done, we select Close. Close out of the Print Reminder Letters. Now we're back to the main menu. That concludes this session.